Hey guys, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? My name is Jordan Morel, making my daily video on circumcision. So, today I noticed I had a comment on one of my previous videos from about three months ago now. It's my most popular watched video, at least, uh, called Foreskin Envy. I'll link in the comments if you want to look at it. And the comment was uh, about how he thinks I'm really making too big of a deal over circumcision um, over not having my foreskin and kind of the the basic premise is you know we should just try to get out of this mental rut you're in um, and so first of all I want to say thank you for watching the video thank you for engaging thank you for um, kind of hearing what I was saying although I, I don't know if you really heard what I was saying um, but thank you for at least um, commenting and and you know, engaging. Um, I have to disagree with you here on this. Um, you know, it's affected me today, which is how I know that I really need to go further, deeper into something, uh, because it was kind of upsetting me that he, that uh, Kip had, you know, said, you should kind of just get over this. Uh, because I've been told that before by both my parents, by a psychologist, um, by other people, and I almost killed myself um, every day for about three years straight. Um, I, th I thought about suicide many times a day, um, and I know a lot of men in similar positions who um, who can't go on living because the trauma is so incredibly severe from circumcision that they can't um, they can't live with it, live with themselves, live with this experience of having had their genitals mutilated. Um, so I want to go a little bit more into why, because I think this is really an important point. Uh, first of all, to explain to Kip or to anyone else who doesn't get why is circumcision so bad? What's the problem with it? Why would you be suicidal over a little snip, um, having had your foreskin removed, which really isn't that that important? Um, at least that's the popular cultural opinion. And the fact is, the foreskin is the most sensitive part of your penis. Um, we have numerous studies, numerous ways of showing this. Um, it's just a plain, clear scientific fact. It's a study called the Sorrells, uh, or the Sorrells study, S-O-R-R-E-L-S, -E shows the sensitivity of the foreskin tested by uh, pressure sensitivity, and it's very clear that you know all of the parts of the foreskin, the main parts of the foreskin, the my, the um, the ridge band, the frenulum, the frenular delta, inner and outer foreskin are all far more sensitive than any part of the penis that's left after circumcision. The next most sensitive part is the scar line, which is sensitive to pain, um, primarily. And so that's not good. You're removing all of the most sensitive parts of the penis. You can also look at the histological data and all these Meisner cor nurse corpuscles that you can feel in your hand. It's the ticklish, you know, the lighter you touch, the more you can feel. And also in your lips, except they're about 10 times as much concentrated in your foreskin. Nowhere else in the male body is there anything like that, so you can't really experience it. Um, but that's the foreskin. It's, it's, it's the male clitoris, basically. You know, you see the exact same kind of nerves in the similar concentration in the clitoris. It's it's like the same thing. It's like cutting off a guy's analogy to the clitoris. Um, it's the most sensitive part. It's it's the best part of his dick. Um, and yes, the head is also exposed, which dries it out and causes it to develop a callus. But to me, that's not even the main point, really. Although that also sucks uh, and causes discomfort. Um, especially if you've tried to restore and so seeing the difference in sensitivity, etc. Um, so yeah, there's a huge physical difference. It also, you know, there's many functions of the foreskin. I thought about writing a book called The 10,000 Reasons I Hate Being Circumcised. Maybe I still will. There's a lot to it. There's a lot of reasons. It reduces a lot of function, makes it so you need lubrication to masturbate and have sex a lot of the time, causes much higher rates of erectile dysfunction, of course, when you move 
about it's half the skin of the penis, by the way. It's not a little snip. It's an extremely violent procedure. Uh, causes permanent changes in the brain because it's so incredibly painful. And I have a playlist in my account, on my YouTube account, you can watch, um, called Circumcision Videos, I think. And you can watch the procedure. Um, it's it's truly, truly horrific, and that in itself also causes trauma. So for all these reasons, um, yeah, circumcision's bad. It's no different than female genital mutilation, especially if you're someone who sex means everything to him, like me. Um, I think it's the most beautiful thing in the world. Uh, I really, 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 really love sex. And my favorite part is it is the soft, slow, sensitive uh, things you can do in foreplay and uh, all the stuff that is very much harmed by circumcision because you don't have that sensitivity anymore. You can't feel most of it. Um, it makes it a lot more difficult um, as well as psychological element, you know, knowing that someone did that to me and becoming obsessed with it, uh, whether or not it's avoidable, you know, maybe it is, maybe we should ask men to try to, you know, watch less stuff on this topic. You know, once you understand it, once you get it, you're not going to do it to your son, you're going to maybe contribute to uh, trying to solve the issue by talking to people about it or contributing to foreskin regeneration, like Foragen. Uh, once you are committed to the cause, basically, there's no reason to keep traumatizing yourself over and over and over again. Yes, um, I'll admit that. <laughs> it's, it's, um, but the fact is a lot of guys do, you know, no two ways around it. It's called the obsessive epiphany. Um, the more you learn, the more you want to know, the more you don't want to know, but the more you can't stop. And it's hard, really hard to get around this. Um, and telling men to just get over it, just try not to think about it, try to, um, you know, just forget about it. Uh, maybe once in a while it works. I think a lot of times it actually makes things worse. And just, uh, I mean, certainly it does in terms of the fact that it isolates the man rather than understanding him saying, yeah, that is probably one of the most horrible things that can happen to a human being. I'm so sorry. What can I do for you? Um, what do you need? I'll listen. I'll be here for you. I'll do whatever I can to help. Rather than just saying, you know, I think you should just try to forget about it is um, incredibly painful for a guy. It feels, it's one of the shittiest feelings in the world, and I think that's part of why I wanted to make today's, this video today, is to say that um, we should never, ever, ever be saying that to men because we need to listen to them, we need to be there for them, we need to um, give these men healing and tell them that healing is possible, and then have healing be possible, you know, create, I'm trying to create trauma therapy programs for men, uh, or my other videos, and besides these daily videos, um, and ultimately, yeah, we need to not shut up about it, we need to not stop thinking about it or not talking about it, we need to talk about it more, because first of all, that's how you heal, is by connecting with people, and also by treating the trauma, which requires really processing it not hiding from it, not trying to escape it, but feeling those feelings and really experiencing that pain all the way every day until it starts to transform and um, eventually dissipate. Um, it's actually hard for me to make some of the trauma healing videos because I have done so much. I've done them for the last 40 days now and I, I'm finding difficulty finding any pain left in me to um, use to make the videos with. Um, because I'm going into it every day, I'm just experiencing this pain again and again. And the more you consciously go into it, the more it heals. So the solution is to talk about it. Not to not talk about it, not to shove it under the rug, not to not think about it, but to really bring full awareness, full love, full compassion and empathy, and um, allow the truth to come out. We need to talk about this as much as we can, as often as we can, um, you know, have patience with people, 
be compassionate, understand that people just don't really get it, and um, keep creating materials like Eric Klopper's play Sex and Circumcision or Brenda Murata's film American Circumcision coming out on August 31st. Get excited. Um, these things show the emotions behind it, really explain in detail the pain that men feel, show that, uh, show that pain, and it's that emotional persuasion that's going to really get people to open their eyes and see this isn't going away, it's just going to keep getting worse until we fix it once and for all. Because circumcision is one of the worst things that you can do to a human being. I don't care if you don't even care about sex, it's still a violation of your body on the most intimate level. Um, you can try to repress it and not think about it and uh, just pretend it didn't happen. But I think a lot better approach is to face that shadow, that pain fully, and allow yourself to grow from that, to heal that, and to uh, come back with a vengeance to say, I am here, I'm not going away, and speak up for what is right. That's why I'm making this video today. Uh, it's not okay to tell men to get over this. That's not acceptable. I get that you maybe didn't really understand it, you don't get it. I'm happy to continue having conversations about this and to continue talking about it. But what I will not stand for is telling men that they need to just forget about having their genitals mutilated. Um, that's not the answer to this problem. So thank you all for your support. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your questions, your comments. Uh, love to you all. Peace, joy, happiness. We will end circumcision together. We will find a psychological solution for all men who want it and a physical solution as well so um yeah thanks for being here and i will talk to you all tomorrow <laughs>